What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back another episode in my path to power building a brand new squad. You can see almost 50,000 coins. It's going to center around no, you guys just got baited in right there. It's not going to center around Juliano. I was kidding. We are going with the Primera Liga or the Portuguese League. And you can see we used all of our coins. Now, how did we go about doing that? Well, it's because I went out and I bought my first inform for this series. And we're going to use the 4-3-2-1 formation. That inform was, was Jonas. Paid somewhere in the high 30,000s for him. The Portuguese League is not a very expensive league. But they have some really, really nice players. Going to give this 4-3-2-1 formation a shot. I think it's a relatively solid formation this year. And I wanted to go about and see what it might offer. I wanted to get Carrillo in there, who's got five-star skills. Uh, Varela has always been a very, very nicely well-rounded player on Ultimate Team. Thought throw him in there. And, of course, we have Jonas. you got some really balanced midfielders as well. Some box-to-box -box type CMs. And you've got an okay defense to kind of throw in there with the rest of the squad. So I thought, hey, this could work out pretty darn well. So I went out and I scoped how much would it cost to move Carrillo from a right mid to a right wing so I could get him on the right chemistry up there. And I saw, okay, bottom end, about 2,000 coins. If I search for him as a right forward, you can see if I get that card, I think I end up getting it for about 2,300 coins. Now, his default coin value is going to be somewhere around probably about 1,000 coins. Tack on the 2,000 coins you're going to need. So if I can get it for less than 3,000, it's going to be a better deal. And then I'll be able to sell it on overnight for a little bit more when I want to. It's it's one of those things that if you can buy cards that have been position changed at a discount relative to the price of the position change cards, it almost always works out in a beneficial manner for you. Going and looking for a keeper, I thought it'd be fun to get Casillas, and then I realized I don't have the coins for Casillas. And Julio Cesar for an 82 rated goalkeeper with those stats for basically a discard value is a pretty darn solid option. So we're going to pick him up by now. 900 coins, not too shabby. Everybody else we picked up in the club, for the most part, was a discard-ish value player other than Carrillo and I think that's it. I think everybody else... Oh, and Jonas, obviously. But... The top or the, the title of this episode, and this is uh, you guys. Some of you guys will know what the term tilt means. Some of you guys will not. This guy, this match, put me on tilt. He's using a pretty standard looking, not crazy four three three BPL guide. He instantly put it on park the bus and played on counter attack. Now. I'm going to go ahead and skip because I don't score a goal in this game. He doesn't score a goal in this game. He was a decent enough defender, which was confusing why it was on Park the Bus. But he did not take a shot on goal the entire game. He was hardly in my half. And I found it very, very difficult to kind of attack against that with only really my three attackers and my midfield kind of all over the place. I tried to do slow possession in the midfield, but couldn't really generate the chances. And that's me not being great at beating players one-on-one -on -one with some of the players that I had in this squad. I didn't have any player that could really pull out something magical that I felt like I could really beat someone, which is bizarre because Korea for a five-star skiller should be definitely able to do that but he was he's my least favorite five-star skiller that I've used this year uh, which is not what I was expecting but this guy hardly got a sniff of my own half six percent of the game was played in my final third to give you guys an idea of what that and this is I don't understand how this is fun for people is more more or less my issue I understand if you're you know your opponent's really sticking it to you or if you're protecting a lead that's one thing but when you instantly go to do that from the start I just don't get it but essentially 6% of a 12 minute game of FIFA is going to be 43 seconds that he had the ball somewhere in my final third of the field that is that is so incredibly boring to me and absolutely next to nothing that I just I just don't grasp why people do that. But it sent me into this match fully on tilt. And I was like raging up a storm, not thinking clearly, not defending properly. And this guy gets an easy goal in the 12th minute. This is one of those things where, guys, I'll tell you it a million times. If you're concerned about your record of FIFA, or if this game gets you worked up like it does all, more or less to all of us in one way or another or in some shape or form, step away. Go do something else for a little while, or you're going to get things like this. Just, again, sloppy, sloppy, simple defending. I know he's cutting inside. I just misshuffled because I wanted to win it back so I could get back into the game. You guys know that I'm not great at playing from behind. So right here, I was like, you know what, forget it. We are going to switch formations. We're going to go 3-4-1-2. If I'm going down, I'm going down swinging. I'm going down in a fireball of attacking, well, hopefully glory. Because... It, while defending is a very important part of the game, 
I like you got to create chance, and I just want to play attacking FIFA or attacking football this year. It's kind of one of those things. So this will be an interest. This is kind of an interesting turning point for Path to Power to me because I think that it kind of allows an interesting. It's gonna be. I'm gonna definitely drop games and lose games. But I'm going to go down swinging, and that's for sure. And so that's what I'm going to try to give you guys some attacking gameplay. Manage to pull one back here, 79th minute. Really simple. Change the formation. All of a sudden, there are all these gaps. He doesn't know how to mark my midfield, my press. I'm playing on ultra attacking. I'm playing on team pressing. I'm playing on high pressure. And we're creating all sorts of opportunities. Wonderful strike there. Freddy Montero making it 2-2, 84th minute. The comeback is on. The comeback is real. Now I just need to get that one more goal. And lock this one away. And you can see off the start, he is a little bit flustered. He's trying to go straight forward, which is just generally a poor idea. Unless you've got Ben Yedder on. But we managed to take it away from Ben Yedder this time. And we're working things slowly forward. And you can see I've got players streaking forward. I left it on ultra attacking because I wanted to go for the win. I did not. Or I think I left it on. Yeah, pretty sure I did. But I left it on that because I wanted to go for the win. How we don't score that header, I don't know. But the rebound falls to Giuliano. We managed to put it away. 3-2 now. 87th minute. I freaking pumped. I wanted to go talk to the cameraman, but we're going to do a somersault and a fist pump instead, which is A-OK -okay in my books. So now all I have to do is not make any more poor decisions. And when you go from tilting and raging to getting the comeback, you feel awesome. You're on top of the world. You can make no more mistakes. This FIFA game, this ultimate team, is my oyster to do with as I please at this point. He tries to rush forward again. We take it away. Apparently, there was a foul right there. But he rushes it forward, and that's no big deal because I can just take this one away again. He makes a poor pass, bounces off of his player. Now, I just don't have to give a, make a bad giveaway. Why are you rushing it forward right there, Japes? Look at my midfield. is so out of position now because it's a stupid, stupid giveaway. It turns into an easy counterattack, and I drop two points in the division. Absolutely brutal. I hope you guys can take a lesson or something from this. <sighs> This, this tilt is going to carry over. It's going to be a theme that you guys are going to see because I tilted even more after drawing this game. Anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode, even at the expense of me not being so great or not having the best day of FIFA. If you did enjoy it, like a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.